Hello my dear friends, today we'll try to find out is it possible to install Windows XP on a new modern PC. Let's get do it. What we have? We have an Intel i9-9900K CPU, Nvidia GTX 1080, 32GB of RAM, MSI Z390 motherboard and to kill LG monitor. The best way to install Windows XP is to use CD-ROM because in 2001 motherboards doesn't support booting from USB devices. I know it's possible to install Windows XP using a bootable USB. I even have the whole video about it, link will be in the description. But you will try to install XP from the CD drive to have less issues during installation. So I open Ultra ISO and burn ISO image to CD disk. Let's try to boot. Open the boot menu by pressing F11, select the DVD-ROM. Everything goes well until, oh no, blue screen error, six zeros A5. It says the BIOS in this system is not fully ACPI compliant. But what is ACPI? In a computer, the advanced configuration and power interface provides an open standard that operating system can use to discover and configure computer hardware components to perform power management. The error appears because Windows XP doesn't support new ACPI version of MSI Z390 motherboard. But don't worry, we can skip ACPI check by pressing F7 during installation. Let's try. And it works. But now we have another blue screen, this time 607B. It says check your hard drive to make sure it is properly configured and terminated. Looks like we have a problem with HDD drivers. And yes, the problem was in HCI drivers. The Advanced Host Controller Interface or HCI is a technical standard defined by Intel that specifies the operation of SATA. So this is the end? Of course not. I was spending several days looking for a solution and finally found it on the WinRate forum. There is a lot of helpful information about Windows. To fix the blue screen issue, we need to integrate HCI driver right into Windows XP image. To make it, we need to download a special HCI drivers and a program called Nlight. All the links will be in the description. First, unzip XP image, then select folder with unzipped XP files. Next, select driver and bootable ISO image. Now click multiple drivers. Select folder with HCI drivers that we have downloaded before from WinRate forum. The HCI drivers list will appear. We need to select the same ID that you have installed on your motherboard. To find this, go to Device Manager, find HCI controller, click Properties, Hardware and ID, and here is the number that you have to select in the light program. In my case, I must select A352 as you can see on your screens. Next, done. Our image is ready. Now I will burn it to CD. Open the boot menu, select the DVD ROM. Let's see what happens. God, please, not blue screen. And oh my god, it works. Setup menu appears. Next. And here is the fun part. Setup can detect M2 SSD. Actually, only one of two SSDs. There are two M2 SSDs on my PC, 1TB Samsung EVO and silicon power 128GB. I don't know why, but setup can detect only silicon power SSD. If you know why this happens, please reply in the comment section. Now we are stuck in reboot. It happened because of mismatch ACPI versions. The setup gives commands, but BIOS doesn't recognize them. So I will restart it manually by long pressing power button. Type computer name, date and time settings, next. Type your name. And ladies and gentlemen, Windows XP and new modern hardware. You know, it looks beautiful on a new 2KLG monitor. Ok, let's check system properties and what we see. 
Intel i9 9900K and 2 GB of RAM, why only 2? Because we have installed 32-bit version of Windows XP. I tried to integrate HCI driver into Windows XP 64-bit image, but by some reason it didn't work. If we go to Explorer, you can see our M2 SSD. When I try to turn off PC, that message appears. I have never seen this before. It happens because of ACPI incompatibility, as I already said. What about drivers? MSI Z390 doesn't have any drivers for Windows XP. They are only for Windows 10. LAN card will not work because there is no Intel LAN drivers for Windows XP. But we can install an old LAN card that supports Windows XP. This one, for example. Internet is working well as you can see on your screens. USB ports are not working at all. So I can't use a USB mouse or a keyboard. The Masai motherboard has USB 3.1 ports. To make it working, we need to install a chipset driver, but there is no Z390 chipset drivers for Windows XP. I've tried to find Z390 chipset drivers for Windows XP, but none have worked. The only way to connect a mouse or keyboard is to use PS2 port, but our motherboard has only one PS2 port, so we can use only a mouse or a keyboard. I know. There is a PS2 splitter, I want to buy it, but the nearest delivery will be in a month. I can't wait too long. There is another way to use a mouse and a keyboard at the same time. We'll need a computer, a laptop for example, and a program called TeamViewer. After creating remote desktop, we can use a keyboard and a mouse at the same time. I know, it's not the best way, but it works. Audio drivers for Windows XP doesn't exist also. What about GPU drivers? Of course Windows XP doesn't install video drivers automatically, but with a standard graphics driver we can change resolution to 2K and that's incredible. I went to official NVIDIA page trying to find GTX 1080 drivers for Windows XP, but the first released drivers were only for Windows 7. My subscribers gave me a link with GTX 1080 drivers for Windows XP from some Chinese iCafe. I downloaded them, tried to install, but another error appears. It says this graphics driver could find compatible graphics hardware. What does it mean? It means that due to necessary missing chipset drivers, Nvidia can't even recognize what GPU installed in the motherboard. It's over? Of course not. I found an old video card that has support Windows XP. Let's try to use it. Hmm, drivers installed successfully. It means that NVIDIA drivers recognize a GPU model. So why then GTX 1080 drivers have crashed? Maybe because of drivers or modern GPU chips? If you know the answer, please leave a comment. Because NVIDIA drivers were successfully installed, we can set refresh rate to 144 Hz. Did you ever use Windows XP with 144Hz rate? It's amazing. Everything becomes smooth. I like that new experience. Let's open CPU-Z. Watch at core speed. She must be 4.7 or something. But it has only 3.6. Go to motherboard. MSI Z390 Gaming Edge. Memory is working well. You can see a dual channel with 3466 frequency. Graphics, GTX 1080, go next, benchmark, 32 and 64 bit systems has a different benchmark score, so I had to install Windows 10 32 bit on my test SSD to compare results. Strange, core speed differs depending on the operating system, core speed in Windows 10 is 4700, but core speed in Windows XP is 3600. I think it happens because of missing chipset drivers in Windows XP. Let's open a benchmark test. Windows XP has 1400 points and Windows 10 has 2300 points. CPU versions that I tested was the same. So why Windows XP has less points? I think is the same reason as before. Chipset drivers. My first PC was on Windows XP and of course I was playing games and I would never have thought that I would install Windows XP on my modern PC and play old games on it. Let's start from Quake 3 Arena. 
good old memories. I remember playing Q3 using a 54k modem. Q3 works well. Next game, Painkiller. What a great atmospheric game. Look at FPS. 2800. It is very unusual to see so many FPS in Windows XP. I even remember super secret here. You must climb on the roof. Pushing that lantern. I think old games have more easter eggs and secrets than new. You could play the game for years without discovering all secrets. Oh wow. Something went wrong. Did you see it? They are shaking. It definitely wasn't a game. The game obviously did not expect to be launched on Windows XP that installed on a modern PC. Next game, GTA Vice City. Now we have 500 FPS. Funny, but the game mechanics has also changed here. Tommy destroys cars much faster than usual. This happens because some game mechanics in all games were dependent from FPS. So, is it possible to install Windows XP on a new modern PC? Yes, it's possible if you integrate a special HCI driver into Windows XP image. You can work in playing games, browse the internet on Windows XP without any issues. If you have driver's install issues, the only thing you will need to do is to find compatible components that has Windows XP support, as in my case. If this video gets 5000 likes, I will try to install Windows 98 on a new modern PC. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later. Bye.